Hello everybody, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Now obviously I look a little bit different here, uh, and as you can see there are quite a lot of souls in my soul counter. Now the reason for that is A, um, I just had a little bit of a look at the different armors that I've got. I uh, decided to change the armor up a little bit. Uh, I like the look of the Lothric Knight armor. Uh, we went for th with the hood because basically otherwise I'm going to be overburdened. And I don't want that. Um, the souls have come from uh, me, as promised, uh, picking up the Storyteller's Staff. Um, I didn't get quite that many. I have sold some items and stuff. Uh, just to kind of clear out the inventory a little bit. Uh, but I did get something like 29,000 souls getting that item so just be aware that it can take some time uh, to pick up the storyteller staff uh, and that's why we're kind of picked up back in Firelink Shrine instead of at the Crystal Sages bonfire uh, just so that you guys can see me using these souls up uh, I do want to use them on leveling uh, just because I kind of have the intent of getting to as high a level as possible before we get to the Abyss Watchers to make the best use of Yol <laughs> We'll explain more on that uh, as we get further in. But this does allow me to get to my uh, 18 dexterity, uh, meaning that we can now um, start looking at um, building up the Lothric Knight Sword, which is what I intend on on using uh, once we kind of... Where is it? There it is. Yeah, Lothric, the Lothric Knight Sword, uh, just because I think it looks nicer and it's a bit longer. Um... And I just noticed we're not actually that far away from another one. Oops, sorry. Did not mean to breathe into that. No, that would take the selling of three embers. To be honest, it's not like I'm dying that often, so... Why not? Uh, now, I don't really recommend doing this all that often. Um, but, um, you know, if you're confident that you're not really going to use up that many uh, in the near future, then you're not really going to cause any harm by doing this. Uh, my next kind of port of call is going to be getting vitality up to up to 20, just so I've got more freedom in the armors that I can wear. Uh, and then from there, it's basically going to be probably a mixture of endurance and vigor, uh, combined with attunement and intelligence, because I do want to end up um, kind of splashing over. Well, not even splashing over. Intelligence is going to get up to 60, um, and attunement's going to get pretty high too. So we are going to be pretty strong, uh, kind of combat slash caster, uh, spell sword type build in the end. Uh, and that obviously makes us pretty strong. Now, obviously, we could go ahead and use the Lothric Straight Sword now. I can call it the Straight Sword. <laughs> um, but I reckon probably best off waiting until we can upgrade it. So we're going to need some extra souls for that. Uh, so, without further ado, let's carry on. So we are going to be heading over to the Crystal Sage Bonfire. Obviously, all of this has been completed, uh, and this is going to be for later. So let's move on over. Hope everybody's keeping well. Uh, I was just checking on a few comments. Everybody seems to be pretty positive at the minute, which is good. Um, and the last episode is still uploading at this point, so <laughs> hopefully it doesn't affect um, the recording too badly. In any case, from the Sage's uh, bonfire, up this little path we're going to go. Now bear in mind that you have got these cage dudes. These ones are aggressive, so do be aware of that. Uh, first up there, we're going get to get over this way and we're going to grab ourselves some Twinkling Titanite. There's one, and then we're... Th where's the other one? If I made it so I can't get that. Where's the other one? There should be a second one. Let's go back around this way. I think it came too far around there. Sounds like we've just been aggroed on. That's a shame. Where is it? Oh, it must be a disappear. I was certain there was a there was a second um, crystal lizard down there. Either I was mistaken or I made it run off. Right, where's the where's this dude? We've got two of them there together. That's never good. Um, now you don't really need to fight these. But I just kind of want to deal with them because I can. Ouch! Flee! This is where I die. There's one down. Oh! Nearly fell off there. Well, it's, I felt like I could get it off. Maybe I didn't. Obviously, obviously, the biggest issue from these guys is the bleed. And they're insanely long combos. And just pure immunity to being staggered. Damn blood loss. Alright. Oh man, he went under me. This is not going to be a nice place to fight. Take heal quickly. 
It's nearly dead. Only two more strikes on that. There we go. Nice, right, so the big boy's down. Pretty messy fight. I really, do, I don't actually like fighting them very much at all. Uh, if you're wearing lighter clothing, you can actually sneak up on the evangelist here. But uh, I think my armor is going to give me away here if I try and backstab her. Yeah. So my armor's too heavy for this uh, sneak attack to work. So we're going to give her a backstab anyway. Oh no, that was not good. Stop that. Stop that. Ooh, that was perfect. Boom. Evangelist is down. Damn it. I don't even know how she stacked me. That was really weird. Right, I mean to get out of here quickly. I mean, that hook was fine. There we go. Evangelist is down. That was really messy. I apologize for that. Herald set. Not a bad set of armor. May have, may have a look at that some bit later on. And then up here comes our first bonfire for the area. Uh, quite shortly in. Obviously, you can run past the majority of that and pick up the armor set on the way around. Which is uh, considerably easier. So quick rest here. No, no reason not to. At this point, we've got two two NPCs to fight. Uh, one is directly down here on the left. It's going to get some extra ashes, so we can grab that. Ooh. Be careful, this guy. He does have bleed and twin weaponry. Pretty cool, though. Get down, boy. Can't remember whether or not these guys can heal. I think they can. Oop, I shouldn't have done that. Ouch. He got that weapon off really quickly there. Oop. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oops. I really do need to pay more attention to my stamina. It's going to get me in trouble. Don't know what sword he's using. Anyway, that takes him down. There's my ashes. In between these fights, obviously, feel free to rest. There's no real kind of penalty for doing it. They don't respawn, so... Entirely doable. Right, now I've got the dude with the red shield. Ooh, the spider shield. Be careful of this guy when he gets his weapon, out, weapon art off. Whoop. Care for that. Obviously he does get his really, really strong charge attack with that. Um, once that's active, so be careful of that. Get up. However, his movements do seem consider Whoa! Kicked my shield. I was not expecting that. Damage from that axe. It's incredible. Whoa. That was close. He's so close to death, though. There we go. I think he drops the spider shield. Yep. Pretty nice shield. Obviously, it's immune to poison, which is great. Um, and then we've got this little drop off here, which I think takes us to the crest shield. Or maybe it's called the dragon crest shield. I can't remember now. Um, it has great um, resistance to fire. So if you do happen to need that, that's going to be pretty useful to you. So, so with that done, we can go and rest at the bonfire. I'm going to use these souls to uh, do some upgrading. I'm going to upgrade the Lothric straight sword, I think, actually. Let's get that on. See how it looks. Uh, Filing Shrine. Quick blow of the tea. <laughs> Right, so, uh, over to Andre. Ch -ch 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 -ch. There we go. Yes. Right, okay, so we want to re reinforce the Lothric Knight -like sword. There we go. Obviously, that's pretty good uh, deck scaling, which is really, really nice. Uh, we have got... I've got Twinkle Dynamite. We could upgrade this, too. Um, just, again, it's something that we can kind of have a play around with later on, just because it looks cool. Uh, this is going to be at our beck and call once we get some more intelligence. Um, and we could upgrade a shield that takes... 
titanite shards. They just take twinkling titanite. Okay. So that's got 100 defense to 50 stability. So overall, Lothric Knight Shield is uh, the most superior shield that we've got at the moment. So we'll keep that on. Uh, infuse. So this is going to let us directly see um, kind of the improvements we're going to get. So that's on 177. That's on a, That's already on 170 before we infuse it. 190, okay. See, so yeah, I've taken 23 damage uh, bonus there, which is nice. As well as it being longer, which is kind of crazy. So I thought that would be. So 197. Okay, so at plus 3, that would actually do 7 more damage, interestingly enough. But it has more crit to tick hold Pretty on the uh, Lothric Knight Sword. But I'm more interested in the range, I think. Then the seven damage. I think that might actually be quicker as well, interestingly. I imagine it's all still the same. Yes, yeah, that's all still the same stuff, that's cool. Let's have a look at this then, like side by side here. Just to see kind of how I feel about them. Maybe the attack speed is is very similar, but I do think I like the extra range on there. Even though it's kind of I don't know, we'll see we'll see how it goes. Particularly as I think it takes more um, more stamina. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the same really. Okay. I guess we'll see. Onward with progress to the Cathedral of the Deep. So beginning area in this uh, in this little area, little place can be a bit of a pain. In fact, all of it can be a pain. And I should have said as well, um, something else that you're going to want to pick up is a torch before coming to this area. Uh, I'll demonstrate why later. You buy it from the hand handmaiden in the shrine, um, but this is going to be something that you want to bring along with you. But with that done, let's head on through. So we're going to have this first little, I don't know what you'd call this, but kind of the first little area here. Up on the right hand side you've got a couple of archers and dogs and stuff. What you really want to do is just head straight left. Um, hand around this round and you'll see you've got this kind of little um, natural defense line here. And you can just kind of follow this along. The dogs will come in, um, but obviously we can just fight those nice and easy uh, in our little trench here. Oop. Yeah. Stop that. God damn it. There we go. Doesn't let me get an attack off there. That was really, really uh, kind of frustrating. Right. What kind of want to aggro the dog? Easy. It's always the dogs that are the issue. Their attacks are just so quick you can't actually beat them to the punch. And for some reason, even with the Lothric Knight armor, I can't poise through them. Oh. There we go. Right. That's them done. Sit you down. Some pretty good damage coming out of this sword, which is nice. I don't know if it was intentionally manipulating which way I was aiming there. If it was, that was very intelligent. Right, so, I think that's everything around here. It sounds like there might be a dog somewhere still there. Yeah, but they're not. Still with you. Cool, so that's the first little area done for Cathedral of the Deep. Time for us to head on through this way for the next bonfire. Nice and local. Uh, you're going to have an enemy patrolling along this way. You want to be careful. You don't really want it to be able to get close to you because it explodes. He's going to set himself on fire. We're going to run off. Come on. I don't know why that was such a... Uh, I don't know why it's suddenly stuttering on me. Maybe that is because I'm uploading whilst uh, recording at the minute. 
we're going to head straight in this way. This is where the bonfire is. This is going to checkpoint us up for the coming area. A couple of different bits to kind of deal with through there. Um, oh, merciful goddess, mother of the forlorn, who have no place to call their own. Please bear witness to our resolve. Fire for Ariandel. Fire for Ariandel. And the ash to kindle flame. <laughs> so that is Slave Knight Gale. Uh, really, really interesting character and really, really cool in the end. I really like his armor set as well. Um, we'll be dealing with him later. He is uh, basically the entrance to the first part of one of the DLCs. So. You can go in there, but I don't really recommend it, just because um, when I was going through there, it did feel like it was aimed at uh, higher level characters. Um, nothing stops you going in there. There are a lot of weapons you can uh, run to to collect, but I'd rather leave it as um, a full separate entity. So, you know, if you kind of want to go through that early, you can do. But there's no real reason to do that right now. So instead, we're going to head out this way. Uh, carefully these guys, some of these will set themselves on fire as well, so you want to get through them as quickly as you can. And this is going to be your next Estus Shard. Now we could obviously go and use that right now, um, but I would rather wait until we've kind of got more business to take care of uh, in the Phylinx Shrine, particularly for the walkthrough. Uh, we're going to head straight up this way. Uh, now you don't really want to fight these guys, I don't think they even give you um, enough souls to care about. Let's have a look here. Yeah. Oh, and there's precisely why you want to be carrying the torch. Uh, I'm going to let that, bl that build up just so you can see how um, much of a pain this is in this area. Going to get the great sword, why not? I'm going to carry on moving up to the left. Uh, as you can see, we've got those maggots um, crawling all over me right now, and that is what's building up the um, the bleed meter at the bottom, and that's going to continue to happen. Uh, I think they can actually do it twice for each hit that you get with those maggots. So it's it's pretty devastating. So as you can see, that will just keep going. Now, if I simply equip a torch, it will get rid of them all. Um, so pretty handy to have something like that with this. Now obviously I've got t I'm too close to my maximum equip load to keep that equipped. I could probably move down to a smaller shield for a little while but I'd rather stay as, as we are because it's not too much of an issue as long as you don't kind of get hit by it too often uh, this is one of those instances where you may get hit by it so you kind of want to grab this stuff and then run off these guys are all going to start coming after you uh, and you're going to see kind of your first instance of the ones that can just grow these like weird um, maggot looking beings out of their stomachs it's really really strange I don't really know what they're called either but, um, and that way there is kind of the way you could have just kind of ran straight through if you'd wish to. Um, but we've just gotten all the items as we're going around. Uh, bear in mind that obviously, as you might imagine, these guys are all weak to fire. So if you happen to be using pyromancy, um, or you have fire gems or anything like that, that's going to be handy around here. That white tree there indicates that um, we're going to have an archer on side. As you can see, all of the arrows are all over the place. So we can essentially let him deal with all of this. Uh, if you don't really want to get too close to any of it, just bear in mind that their attacks will get you through, will get through your shield uh, with regards to infecting you with those maggots. Infect some of these white branches. This, this it. I was about to say, um, the giant is particularly handy for dealing with this woman, uh, who can usually, who can be a bit of a pain because she's fast, does a lot of damage. But uh, he's going to interrupt her attacks, knock her over and stuff, so that's really, really handy. Makes her not really much of an issue. Gonna grab this. Another bone shard. Let's not get hit by that. Head up this way. There we go. 
Okay, and be careful about these guys, look. As you can see, they are going to come for you. And we're going to go around this way to unlock ourselves a shortcut. I think this is a great shield of some kind. Yeah, course word, curse ward great shield. I think that's the same as the pierce shield. Not pierce shield, pursuer's shield. Uh, looks very similar. From Dark Souls 2. We're going to head down here and clear this area. Now we're going to go up to the left side here. I don't know if this guy's ear is going to come straight for us. Right, let's get rid of you. These guys are pretty easy and quick to deal with. Oh, they don't stagger easily anymore. That's interesting. They don't really do all that much damage, though. Like I said, the only th real thing you got to worry about is the maggots. So all you need to do... Oh, that's not what I meant to put on. <laughs> Saw straight sword, we don't have the faith for you. That's a shame. Cool, let's go around here. We've got another big crystal lizard dude, so we're going to deal with that. Let's just check there's nothing up here. That's the way back to the bonfire. So if you are hurting at this point, uh, you can nip in there. Uh, and get straight back to this area. I'll show you the route back down. Um, it's basically just a drop off up there. In a second, we'll, we'll be using that shortcut. We'll deal with this guy. Again, as I was saying, pyromancies will be your friend here uh, if you do wish to bring them along. I could have done if I'd have uh, been thinking ahead. Obviously, I will now enhance damage taking this guy down much quicker. Got a bit greedy there, but um, you know, sometimes I'll just feel like it. Careful in here, we've got another one of the big guys with the maggots. We're gonna go deal with him. There we go. There we go. Poison mat ring, gonna be pretty handy. Particularly later on when we have to uh, go through some poison. Uh, although I usually find, particularly in things like fire and keep and stuff, it's not that useful. Crystal lizard. Let's get you. Ooh. Damn it! Come here. There we go. Twinkle time that's good. Start upgrading a uh, larger multitude of weapons now, which is good. And obviously, as you can see, um, the increase in how quickly we are acquiring souls has gone up pretty rapidly around here, which is nice. All the time that shards in the world, so you can upgrade a variety of items. I'm probably going to upgrade the shield next. Increasing that stability is going to be a pretty handy thing to do. Over this way, we're going to have another crystal lizard on the left side. So be prepared for that one. There we go. Oh man. Come on! Come here! There we go. Not took the time It's nice. Maybe we'll try upgrade Nost or Spear or something. I don't know. We'll see. More time at Shard. All of the upgrade material. It's pretty good, really. I mean, we'll actually start putting some uh, Pyromancy on once we kind of have reason to go back to Firelink. Just because it's going to be handy to have a, uh, a ranged option. Take those off again. Here we go. There's another one coming up now. There we go. Let's go and grab you. Come here, you Ouch. It's funny how their attacks don't really do any damage. But uh, the maggots clearly do. And I think this is a chime? Yeah, you've got the Sanctuary Bellvine. I think that kind of does uh, dark magic and stuff. We're going to explore all this once we kind of get into later stages and we start playing with the character a bit more. Cool, so with that done, we've done the whole cycle. Uh, I am going to go and rest at the bonfire though. Just kind of reset everything. Oh, do I really need to? I don't really need to. I've not, not really taken that much damage. But I would have liked to have had um, Pyromance at my disposal. No, we, we should be fine. We're going to go straight through it. Uh, and we actually have the... Um, we have that. Oh, we can't use it. We need one more intelligence. Interesting. Okay. 
maybe we will go back to the one fire then. Yeah, I'm gonna use Hermit Bone. We're fine. We'll go back. To, we'll go back to Firelink. I'll get one level. Upgrade the um, upgrade our healing because we've actually got a fair bit to do now, and then we can carry on. I should have gone through the shortcut, but my bad. I apologise, people. Woo! <laughs> I'm so happy that I'm able to uh, to record again now, though. Level up. Let's have that one point of uh, intelligence to use that staff, please. Thank you. Farewell, Ashen. That's excellent. Can you use upgrade the Estes flask? Cool. It's now got ten heals, so where I want to be. <laughs> and from you, I want. Oh yeah, we'll give you that. Yes. And we won. Well, any I suppose. Great fire orb is going to be useful, and we have enough to use it as well. That's really really handy. Only four more. That's an entire world of why not. And there's no real reason we can't reinforce the flame other than we have no souls. <laughs> Do not worry. Okay. So that's that done. Upgrade the parent upgrade the Yester's flask, that'll be cool. Uh yeah, no, there we go. Boom, snow plus two. And we are all good. Tra travel. Yeah, back to the cleansing chapel. Now I don't actually know whether or not the pyromancy flame will burn off the maggots. Maybe we'll try that later on. Let's see how that works. Because that would be really handle, handy, handle. <laughs> Where did that word come from? Right. So with the pyromancy flame weighing nothing, um, there is very little reason not to use pyromancies for most people. We're going to tune this now. So. I don't think I've actually explained this, but tuning basically works as you have so many slots that you can put stuff into, uh, and you essentially use your... <laughs> crazy enough, it's all called attunement. You put your attunement up, you gain more slots, you can put more spells in. It's kind of handy. Uh, in any case, we're going to go up this way. I can show the, uh, the shortcut this time around. Let's see these guys. The extra range is coming really handy for groups there. Uh, that's probably going to be even more uh, telling once we get to the boss of this area. There we have one of those dudes. We're going to run past this guy. He will aggro uh, from quite a distance as you run past and try to go up here. So you do want to be quick getting up this area. So that we don't get infected. <laughs> Probably going to have to start concentrating on health again soon though. 20 vigor is good, but uh, not enough forever. Right. So we're up here now. There's the uh, lady that can make us bleed. We can't obviously wait for it to just patrol off. We're going to kill her anyway. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, careful with that bleed. There we go. That's you now. All good. I'll take the extra time that shot. Next up, we've got the item here. So you kind of want to run forward here. Archer should show itself, and if you hide around here, it'll kind of walk forward and come off of its little perch, which will mean that we can get in there and deal with the uh, the archer rather than having to kind of manage the archer and the spearman. I'll take you straight out. Why not? Get here for you. Bear in mind that there are obviously enemies behind us right now. And as long as that cloud is on us, we can't actually heal. So be careful of that. There we go. Shoot down. And we are Fandabby Dozy. Careful of this guy over here. We've got another enemy trying to hide. We're going to poke him through the wall. There you go. He was trying to burn himself there, so be careful that that is a uh, possibility. We've got little guys about to come for us, so we need to kill this guy before he decides to blow himself up. Where are they? I thought you'd have dropped down by now. Come on. 
Yeah, you should drop down by now. There we go. Oh, that's fine by me. You can jump off there. Careful of the ones with the big swords. Now over on this side, we've got a trap. Oh, to be fair, this area is full of traps and ambushes, so be careful. Um, so this guy will attack you when you try to collect that item. This guy's hanging on the balcony. Oh, he didn't knock off. Damn it. <laughs> For the soul item, there we go. This dude didn't want to aggro for some reason. That's strange. Isn't it? There we are. It's all good. Lothric Knights are doing the job quite nicely for me, which is kind of cool. Lots of archers here to so be quick. I've also got two spearmen down here, if I remember rightly. Well, there's just one. Might be just one. Yeah, it's just one. Bear in mind that as long as you're back to him, he's more aggressive than if you're facing him. There we go. Finishes you. You've got this item just here, which is an absolute trap. You want to run in and then roll straight out. Oop, that was quick. Don't even know it was coming. Yeah, even though I knew it was coming, should I say. There we are. The drug pellet, that's all good. Uh, over here we've got an evangelist. I know that this item isn't worth it, but I'm going to show it anyway. I can't remember what it is, though, for the life of me. Come on, then. Just one down. Well, I'm happy for you to come on your own, that's fine. Right, I'm not going to stand in the way of that. Ouch, got me. No, we don't get a track down here. We need to get down this way quickly. Take a heal. Those extra bone shards have been handy. Whoa. Your track is always unpredictable. Right, here we go. Take that. Got a couple of guys left over here. I can't remember whether or not these will set on fire, so do be careful. It looked like he was about to then. <laughs> what is this? Undead Hunter Charm. So again, <laughs> as I was saying, I knew it wasn't going to be worth it, but uh, I just wanted to show what it was. I can never remember what it is. Cool. So then going down here, you need to be hyper careful because you're going to come across um, a lot of the little guys that want to jump down on you. Where are they? There's usually far... There's usually like tons of them. There we go. Here they come. <laughs> it's probably the time for this. Oh, I was hoping to get a bit of a bit of splash damage on them there. Just try to be careful and aware of uh, things attack rangers. Like the big halberd dude. Whoa! It's getting dangerous. Right, we need to uh, make a flee. I'm gonna flee up here. And I'm gonna take a heal. Ouch. There we go. Success. <laughs> Too cute. There we are. Now don't be fooled, there's still quite a few more of them. Which we'll be dealing with momentarily. What's he dropped for me? Thrall Hood. Kind of cool looking. I don't mind that one. So, we've got this room on the left. Uh, and the roof is going to be crawling with them. Come on. Drop down. There we go. Swamp. Now your friend. Take that. There we go. Can't remember what's up here. I think this is just where all the thralls were dropping down from. <coughs> now, if I remember rightly, these guys that are um, pretending to be passive can uh, set themselves on fire. So be careful of these guys. Where did that come from? There he is. No, you don't. Okay, so we're going to wait for that debuff to, uh, to come off before we actually start moving forward. Because we actually got two of the uh, dancer ladies ahead of us. 
Ideally, we only want to deal with them one at a time. This is where uh, having a ranged attack comes in very handy. Because we can... Well, we don't even need to aggro us, that's fine. Camera's working against me very badly there. Ow. Stop it. Get out. Cool. As you can see, this is um, quite a long part of the game, so you do need to try and conserve your uh, your Estus, which is why I did decide to go and rest at the bonfire. Yes, just that stability we've got on the shield doing wonders for us there. There we go. Two dancers down. This is probably um, the toughest part. Of this it oh, forgot all about you. No. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> oh, so sorry, guys. That was almost a blunder. Too forgot about that. I was just too engrossed in uh, the thought that we are past probably the most difficult part. Um, I reckon those two. The two dancers there is probably the most difficult part of this area uh, altogether. Just because uh, you've gone such... It's probably the lo one of the longer areas you go without any kind of... Um, what's the word? Kind of refresh. Right, we're going to run out of the way of that. Flee! It works for me. And I'm just being absolutely silly here, so I need to start paying attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> Get up. There we go. It's fine though. We're still going. Now bear in mind, obviously, coming up for this ember is optional. Um, there's not really anything essential about this, so you can totally not have to fight that group of enemies there if you don't win, if you don't want to. And just open the door. Uh, we're quite close to a shortcut now, so bear with it. Uh, and again, these enemies that you're going to see in this room here, you don't really need... I wouldn't even bother fighting this. Um, that's just time that you don't really need to invest. Uh, bear in mind, this will try to poison you if you stand directly underneath it. In here, you've got a couple of enemies. Um, not really too bad. Um, they're kind of more dangerous in larger groups. Um, when there's only a couple of them, it's not so bad at all. As you can see, they kind of... I don't know. <laughs> bit pathetic, really. I suppose I shouldn't really say that, but... Not really even an issue. Uh, if I'm right, yeah, we've got another blob on the top of there, so be careful about going up and down these stairs. Uh, this is the path of progression. Uh, but this way is where we're going to get our... If I'm right, it's going to be our first shortcut. So we're going to go ahead and get this. So this is going to take us down. Open the gate. I don't know why it kind of has a double door here. Kind of strange, really. Um, and this brings us back to the bonfire. Which is quite handy. <laughs> um, so if you've done this bit, well done. Um, you have gotten probably halfway through uh, the Cathedral of the Deep now. Uh, and as I was saying, that's probably the most difficult part. Um, in, in terms of the length of time uh, or distance that you have to go uh, without being able to kind of get a refresh of your Estus. But that's exactly why I like to get the extra one um, from Fire and Keep before we actually come this way. Well, before we go down there, we're going to go this way. I don't know why I'm still getting really, really bad stutters. Um, maybe it's just because it's quite a big room in there. Right, so we're going to head down this way. We've got a an evangelist. Now, if you want to, you can poison her uh, and just leave her to die because she won't really aggro on you whilst you do that. In fact, why not demonstrate it? This is kind of risky because I don't actually have um, the spare weight. Well, I suppose I can put it in my left hand. Let's do this. Just in case I need to fight, but I shouldn't need to. Um, and we can just go up there. Use the weapon art. Oof. This is why I like this weapon. 
And if you and if you want to now, you don't actually even need to fight her. You can just leave her; she'll die. Um, now bear in mind that usually when you come down here, this blob is usually dropped off. I know it hasn't. Interesting. All right, so we're gonna switch back to the shield here. Where is it? There we go. I need to uh, clear out my inventory a bit. Oh, hello, dude. Did not expect you to come through there. There we go. I don't know why that's not coming down. Let's uh, give it some encouragement, shall we? They really don't like fire, as you might have imagined. I'm quite happy for it to just die right now. <laughs> Uh, we're actually going to use this method for a couple of other enemies as well, so don't get too carried away using all up before uh, carry on with the enemy, carry on with the area. I probably already used too much of it to be honest. Um, cool, get the deep gem, which is the main reason for coming down here. And then we can carry on with the area. Almost up for another level as well, which is great. Um, what are we going to do next? Vitality, probably. We're going to get Vitality to 20 three more points and that would be lovely and then we can start looking at using some uh, interesting spells which is going to be good so obviously giant's pretty aggressive can just run past it this guy's going to try and explode on you so be careful of that um, giant usually kills him he did there um, we're not going to collect those items right now we're going to come back with those just because he does a lot of damage Is that Archer going to follow me down? He is. He's never done that before. <laughs> uh, and here is one of the instances where I highly recommend using some poison. Because, again, um, this is kind of the second half. And much like the first one, um, I find that this is quite a long bit. So I'm going to poison this. This is a mimic here, by the way. So it's just under the bottom of the steps. One puff should be enough to uh, have him poisoned, and that will kill him. Um, so whilst we're waiting for that, what we're going to do... Where is my sword? Do it again. I'm going to go around this way. Now obviously, try not to die as you're doing this, because otherwise you're going to have to redo everything that you've done already. But we're going to come around this way, we should end up having some... Uh, where are they? We've got these little dudes. On here, quite happy for them to to get up. I prefer to aggro them early rather than have them aggro on me. There are quite a few of them, so be careful. There we go. Where's the third? There he is. There's still one, at least one on the roof near the item, I think. These guys are super. Come on, there we go. Titan shards, nice. I'll take two Titan Shards. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's the thing. Uh, so, let's have you drop off. I'm just going to attack you. Um, this isn't really the most efficient way to kill these, but I want to save the my last bit of FP for later. Or will be revealed later on. Damn it. Come here. Let's see, Guidance, that's that. Something then. Right. And then we've got another evangelist up here. Obviously, we don't want to die to this one if we can help it. The poison seems to stop. That's interesting. I wonder if they've changed how much damage it does. Um, here she is. I don't know why she's already aggro. Usually, she's happily patrolling. Come here. Stop with your silly antics. Stop that. Get out. There we go. Ooh, it's uh, really treating me to lots of time right now. Which is excellent. Take the ember. That's good. This is where the archer was that was firing at us before. Uh, now, of course, you can go back over there and grab those items. Now, the dude that's exploding isn't there. Um, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to take the shortcut down here. 
Whoa. I thought the archer chased us down. That's really, really strange. Anyway, I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna take a heal before we do this. Hopefully, he hasn't just. Yeah, there we go. Also, didn't quite kill him, but I uh, did enough damage to make him nearly dead. So that's fine. Get a deep barrel tome there. That's cool. And that deals with the mimic. We also shouldn't have anything trying to ambush us either, which is ace. And here we're going to have. Uh, probably one of my least favourite enemies in the game. Uh, and again, I don't really have enough FP to do what I want to do to him. Which is kind of annoying. Because uh, I would usually shield break him. Right. Oh, that wasn't good. I was hoping to uh, backstab him there, but that didn't happen. So be, be, be aware that those things he's put on the floor, look, are basically mines. Um, so be really, really careful about how you deal with this guy. Oh. Let's get him for a backstab. Oh, no. That's terrible. Come here. This is how we do it. There we are. Cool. Now, here is what I wanted to use my FP on. Hopefully, I can get this off first time. Otherwise. This could be a pain. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Give me that. So we're going to head through here. Big spidery thing is just going to drop out of the abyss that is the sky. I promise. There we go. Oh, no. We're going to get right here like this. Come on, to the door. To the door. Now be careful of this thing because it can curse you. Which is basically like any other build-up except for if it goes off on you, you die. Put that on you like that, there we go. Breathe my poison. There we go. He's poisoned now, so we don't need to uh, care about him. Uh, where's my sword? <laughs> I promise I'm going to tidy this up for the next episode, guys. So I'm just going to let him die. Uh, so what can we do next? We've got... Uh, an invader to deal with, which should invade us as we go through here. Where is he? Kirk of Thorns, where are you? Come on then, if you're coming. Right, let's deal with you. There's Kirk. So we're going to bring him into here. Our friend over there is uh, happily winding down, which is good. It's good to deal with two problem enemies at once. Obviously, none of, it's good to get rid of some of this stuff that doesn't respawn. Uh, that way, even if you die, it makes it easier. Come on then, Kirk. Why are you taking forever? <laughs> Come on. What are you doing? Now, the annoying thing about this guy is his rolls will hurt you. Uh, and they often stagger as well, which is kind of annoying. Uh, and his straight sword does bleed damage, so be careful of that. Cool, there goes the big guy. Yeah, I hate that his rolls stagger you as such. It's so annoying. I can't remember if he heals, though. I don't think he does. But he is an absolute pain in the ass. No! No! All that damage. Come up. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here. There we go. Cool. So that's the finger dealt with. And then we get to get the items in here as well. And also for de defeating him, we actually get some uh, Estus back, which is cool. Ember, that's good. <laughs> but at least the FP was enough. I wonder if that cloud will work on the boss. That would be really, really interesting to see. Um, right then. So, we're going to deal with this room in one go. Uh, but before we do that, we are going to go ahead and open um, shortcut. Getting some really bad stutters there. This must be due to the uploading because it wasn't doing this in the last episode. Um, maybe I'll change stuff for the next one. So we're going to head straight through here. Come on then. Let's have you dealt with. Here we 
go and open this. Again, another kind of double shortcut, which I don't understand. Um, now, obviously, the kind of... If you hadn't picked up the item before, there would be a temptation to jump off and kill this guy. This is where we've got the poison might ring before. Just gonna head through here. And here is another shortcut. Cool, so we can rest this. And I guess we might as well go level up again. Filing shrine, here I come. Give us a bit of extra uh, quip load, would be nice, I suppose. A bit of extra vitality. Um, it's probably going to take us up to 19. Only one point off my uh, my target vitality for now, which is good. Uh, now don't, get, don't get me wrong, there are probably stronger things we could be using here. Um, like, all of the points to put in vitality could just have easily go into here, and we'd be on. Really, really good health. Um, or more endurance, which would equally be good. Uh, or we could actually start pumping intelligence so we can get some oh, stronger wow, spells on the go. But I don't know. I just like it this way. It's a bit more incremental for me. Um, yeah, we'll talk to people here once we've been through the rest of the cathedral. So back to the cleansing chapel we go. Cool. So as we go back through, I think it's this one. That's the way that we want to go. Oh no, because the drop off. No, it's not. It's the one. So over through this way. Obviously, we'll see that we have a lift on the other side of here. Uh, we're not going to deal with that just yet. We're first going to deal with uh, kind of the bottom floor of the cathedral. Uh, this part you can kind of split into. Well, it's like tend to split into three parts. So we've got the initial floor just here, um, which has got a couple of enemies on it. Uh, it's got a couple of giants that we want to deal with, and um, we've kind of got this little bridge thing here, which we're going to raise later on. Uh, so we're going to deal with these two giants here, and then we'll go up to deal with kind of that area just there, which is the second area. Um, and we open a door up there, which kind of triggers some stuff to happen, which we want to happen. Um, from there, we then basically come back down here. We go and do um, some areas. There you can see the rafters up there. That is kind of the third area. Uh, then from, once that's done, we're in for the boss. Uh, so, I guess we might as well deal with this one first. Being as you're not in the, uh, in the muck, I guess I can just attack you put you down, that's fine. Oh wow, the Pontiff's Ring doesn't actually seem to come on until like the 5th and 6th attacks, that's kind of kind of crazy really. I guess when you're getting close to the giant, it might wake up. Some really bad stuff there, I don't understand what's causing all this. Right, now when these groups together we can send some fireballs at them for good effect. Like so. Just speeds things up a bit. Now individually they're not really that, but they're not actually all that aggressive or anything. Uh, the main reason for dealing with them is that uh, once we're fighting a giant, um, if they start getting in the way, they are probably the thing that's most likely to get you killed. He's going to throw poo at us. Let's not have that, thank you. Sit back down. That's it, go to sleep. Oh yeah, we've got two there. Let's try and aim for the back one, that should get both of them. There we go. And then we got you. Should be alright with only one of them left. Should be fine. We should be fine. There's two of them, but we should be okay. So basically, we're just going to attack his ankle. Uh, just keep an eye on what he's doing. As long as you stay between his legs, you're usually pretty safe. 
Um, but just make sure you don't get hit by any of his stomps. Um, they're quite telegraphed though, so you don't really need to worry about them too much. But they do have crazy, crazy tracking. Here we go, it's happening now, look. Uh, his attacks will also hit the, uh, hit the blob thing as well. But um, they're that resilient to kind of physical damage, doesn't really do much to them. Ouch. I wasn't expecting that to hit. That had a big, massive swing down on it. There we go, that's the giant down. Again, giants are, kind of the, are the kind of enemies that don't really respawn, so you don't really need to worry about them too much. And with those down, we can obviously get around here and pick up all this. I don't know why they spread this all the way out. Uh, this is basically an armor set uh, and a weapon that's kind of spread among different pieces. I think there's some Titanite here as well, somewhere. Now, uh, there's usually a dude that drops down. Yeah, he's up there, look. Oh no, it's already dropped down. Okay. That maggot thing there usually drops down on you. Um, let me try to get around. I thought there was another one. Oh, that's interesting. I've never noticed that you can see one of those up there. That's interesting. Anyway. Pale tongue. Maybe that's the item I thought it was going to be. Large Titanite Shard. First one of the Large Titanites. One more of those. We can actually upgrade our sword again. Which is excellent. Uh, now obviously from this point you could in fact go ahead and uh, deal with the upper area. But like I was saying before, I want to kind of keep things at least slightly organised. So we're going to deal with the downstairs first. Um, obviously the really annoying thing about this water stuff. Uh, I mean I don't know whether it's meant to be sewage or oil or what. Um, is that enemies are not slowed down by it, only you are. Uh, so fighting in it, I mean, unless it's the giants, which we don't really care about, fighting in it is not ideal. So when facing fast enemies, avoid that at all costs. Like these guys, for example. So you're going to want to clear out the sides of, uh, of this area before we go ahead and fight the next giant. Uh, the last thing you want is the big guy with the shield to come in and start weighing in, because you will not beat him in there. Or maybe you will, uh, if you're particularly good, but um, I'm pretty certain I won't. So, Alright, we are going to shield split you. Yeah, it worked. Not good. Ouch! Now be careful with these guys, because they can heal. Is the, uh, is the big thing with the dudes with the shields. I've got one more shield split, so this needs to be successful. Damn it. Why is it not going off? That's really weird. That works. Come on. Damn it. Right, he's gonna keep guarding. No! There we go, that works. <laughs> well, I guess it wasn't really working. We just managed it, it's fine. <coughs> uh, lever doesn't really do much. Uh, it kind of just raises this thing, but I've not really found a use for it. Probably another little dude around here somewhere. I think. Nope. We've got them all aggroed. Okay. That's fine then. So, just the giant. This one's going to be a little bit more simple because obviously there's no other kind of distractions around him. about lose, using up all of your stamina. In case you need to roll. That still got me even from there. <laughs> the swing round on that is crazy. Yeah. 
here we go. Giant is down. That's probably going to be another level. Which is kind of cool. Maiden skirt out in the dirt. <laughs> Can't even speed up at all in this. Lost that shot. Excellent. Name is Solely Soldier Duty. Through this way. Cool. Pair of doors, and I think it's um, the Saints Biden out here. That's what we've got. Yeah, Saints Biden. And with Bone. I think that's kind of a hint of uh, if you want to get back quickly, <laughs> now would be a good time to use this. Uh, I don't know how much of an advantage would be because we're going to head back upstairs now. Uh, we're going to get the items this, gar this giant was originally guarding up there. And then we're gonna deal with the second part up there. So we're gonna head around this way. We don't really need to fight everything if we don't want to. Kind of, yeah, need about another K. I'll just be careful here because the, the dude with the shield's gonna come patrolling out. We're just gonna run past, we don't really need to fight him. Surprise the. Uh, I think they're called thralls. The little guys haven't jumped down on us. Keep on going up. Obviously we need to be a little bit careful about this guy here who's going to set himself on fire. Oh no he didn't. That's interesting. Oh, he's going to then. you down, that's good. Lloyd Sword Ring, I actually quite like that one. I'm going to put that on actually. So the Lloyd's Ring will uh, increase your attack power as long as you have full health. Um, which I think is really good. <laughs> Basically. Um, in my opinion it works really really well with uh, things like blessed weapons just because it means um, you know you'll uh, continually recover health. Which I may even infuse my shield with if it doesn't take away from my physical damage, physical protection. Whoa, saw that. You know. Didn't want to see the patrol so far out. Nice try, bud. Yeah. My spice is not really let me get in for the uh, for the critical hit on him. That was much better than the first time we fought him. <laughs> Getting used to it. Right, so uh, we probably do have enough Estus to get around the next bit. I'm going to put this one on. Um, should be able to see kind of the difference. Ooh. 209. So yeah, it's about an extra, what, 19 damage just for being at full health, which is nice. I am a fan of it. Let's get around this way. Yeah, no real need in resetting all of this stuff. Um, especially this little bit's not actually very long. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. No real reason to go killing everything around here. Quite a lot of it won't actually aggro on you. So we're just going to make our way around. Um, the guys with the big swords are pretty lethal. Um, I mean, if you want to farm him for it, you can do. But like, as you can see, no real uh, need to go through all that. Don't think there's anything around the side. We're going to take a look anyway. No, I think there's, there's an item on the other side. We're going to grab that in a bit. So uh, instead, we are going to pass through. Get on this lift. 
Okay, so at this point we're going to open this door. I think you need to open this to trigger the next part anyway. Let's take a look. Uh, I can't remember whether or not we need to exit and come back to make this guy appear. Yeah, here he is. So. this, take the jewel charm, talk to this guy. Well, you look reasonably sane. I am a knight of Katarina. I've managed to track down this cathedral's store of treasure. It's right over there, across that narrow part. Treasure? Hmm. Always so close. Yet so far, I'm in quite a pickle, <laughs> indeed. Hmm. Hmm. Well, just hold your horses a moment. I know, I know, treasure is so sorely tempting. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, just what? So, um... Basically, he's trying to put us into a trap, um, which we have foiled because the giants are already dead. So as you run across, he's going to uh, drop the bridge. Oh, and now I see the use of the other thing because it would actually block him from getting across that. They're already dead. <laughs> so, let's go and talk to him. <laughs> so, in theory, this should save us some time. And maybe some effort. But we'll see. Being as he should still be there. We'll see. So if it can save us going across the rafters, that would be lovely. Deacon's approaching. <laughs> Don't actually think there is a switch to raise that on this side, is there? No, he's gone, he's moved. Okay. Fair enough. So with that then, we are going to Homeward Bone. Uh, obviously he's moved over to the other side, uh, and so we need to uh, go across the top to get over there. So, from there then, we basically have enough to level, so we might as well actually go and spend those souls, because uh, it's quite likely you'll die doing this. Hopefully I can do this first time, but it's unlikely. So, I need like a hundred souls, and I've probably got more than enough soul items to get that, like this, for example. I think that's what it said anyway. Oh no, I need another, like, 50. Use another small one, that's fine. We'll save the big ones for later. Well, very well. Level up, level up. 20 vitality, that's good. Morning. Start looking at my fashion souls again in the break now, which is cool. Uh, and from here, leveling is basically going to be attunement and intelligence. Um, going forward. 
because that's what I need. Um, so, back to Cathedral of the Deep. Um, yeah, back to the Cleansing Chapel. And we're going to go up the elevator that we saw earlier. This is probably one of the more dangerous areas. Not necessarily because of uh, how long or short it is, just because there's a lot of chances to be falling off. And I've just gone the wrong way again. So you're going this way. Up we go. Now I don't actually know whether or not it's easy to just kill Patches. I don't really know how important he is um, to everything else. He does try and trick you quite a lot. Now if you don't recognise this area, this is the original um, archer that usually jumps off there. Kind of cool how everything links in together. I really like that about these games. Up here we have like a bigger deacon dude. Uh, the first time you kill him he'll drop a ring. Get the deep ring, which is basically an extra attunement slot. Not bad if you wanted to get into more casting without in investing in attunement. Uh, you're going to want to get up here fairly quickly. Um, I'm going to take a heal so that I get my uh, damage bonus against this guy. Oh, I did stagger. Damn it. We deal with him quickly. I'm going to die. Not good. Um, crazily enough, the reason I wanted to run up here doesn't seem to have happened. Um, usually, here we go. Usually we get like swarmed by thralls. And this rooftop just is not a good place to find. Uh, so usually I just kind of go down there. I'm going to take another heal here. Um, this, this isn't a very long route, so don't be afraid to heal. Get rid of you. Uh, so we're going to clear this outside path first, just in case we decide we want to use it. can't remember how many more of them there are. This guy's got a halberd, so you need to be careful about him. Ouch. None of them want to stagger it. Oh. It's almost like that cloth's giving them extra poise. Uh, be careful of this bit because this is a trap. And that's why having a ranged option is always handy. There we go. Take that pelt on. No real need for it, but just helps out, you know. Oh, then over here, we've got our entrances. I prefer to do this, the right-hand entrance rather than the left one. Uh, just come under less fire. The biggest issue in here is um, the knights in here have uh, crossbows. And if one of them starts firing at you from a distance, he can just knock you off. Um, so my preferred method is generally to uh, draw these guys out of here. So I'd much prefer to deal with these guys in here. Particularly the thralls. Um, the guys with the great swords are better off on more open ground than in the corridor, but you don't really have much option for that, unfortunately. Uh, come on then, are you coming? Um, cool, that's you. So I do have a very strong dislike for this area, uh, as you might imagine. Um, the best kind of way to deal with them, really, is to try to get them to fall off the edge, which is not too difficult. I tried to demonstrate with this guy. Ouch. That tracks me really, really well. Now, if you get them to attack across one of the gaps, they will basically just fall off. The trick is not getting hit by the attack. There we go. The crazy thing is, they are actually able to survive the fall, uh, whereas we are not. Oh no, he didn't. <laughs> they used to. Um, so with that done, that's that one. Uh, 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 I've got one more that has to die. 
which is that one there. Uh, which we kind of want to try to aggro him without aggroing his friend. Which is difficult, if I remember rightly. Can I, can I target him? Nope. Nope. Because uh, his friend with the shield over there has a crossbow. And that will just basically knock you off. Hopefully he'll chase me quite far. Oh, it's fallen off. Excellent. <laughs> Fantastic. The other one won't really chase you because he will just fire you with the crossbow. That's why he's an issue. Um, but we don't need to fight him. You see under there, underneath there, that's where we need to get to. We're just going to drop off there. Um, no real need for care. We just have to make sure we don't get hit by any crossbow bolts. As you can see, I'm just going to head over this, jump on that like that, and then down here like this, and we're across. Um, like I say, <laughs> I hope I didn't make that look too easy because it really isn't. Um, but it's very easy to die there. Uh, this is going to raise the bridge for us. Uh, so we can get back here quite easily. Although it's going to be very, very easy because there's a bonfire over here anyway. Uh, we're going to speak to this guy. Huh? Yes, hello. Oh, I don't believe we've met. I'm Patches. Unbreakable Patches. But you seem to be unkindled. Do you have business with me? Yes. Ah, oh, oh, yes, of course. It's coming back to me now. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was my hand. As you know, but but the deed, well, that was the armor's doing. <laughs> Regrettable, truly. But behold, I'm stripped clean of that unruly attire. Look at you, not a scratch. All's well that ends well, right? Yes, we'll be fine. I can tell. It's that rotten curse. It is the untidy mess. <laughs> Now, it wasn't me, but, but, but you still deserve an apology. Just a little trinket. Go ahead. It's yours now. <laughs> you should know, I'm a kind of uh, travelling merchant. If you're as unkindled as you look, you'll find plenty of good stuff. Cool. So, uh, this guy sells... Uh, Siegfard's armor set. Now, bear in mind that to continue his quest line, we actually need to give him all of this back. Um, I don't think we need to give him the shield, though. I think it's literally just the armor. Uh, so that's going to cost us a total of like 15,000 souls. So we've got a bit of a while before we can actually afford that. Uh, we'll probably do it directly after the um, after the boss fight. So can't find anything you like. Not really. Yeah. Um, and once that's done, he'll uh, move to the Firelink Shrine and we'll be able to have access to him anyway. Uh, be careful here. There are going to be a load more of these maggot dudes um, kind of drop down on us, so be careful. Uh, they, they kind of like, they can puke up the maggot things that cause bleed, so be careful of them. I'm going to go and kill this one first though. Because he will drop us an important item. Ooh. Just thought I'd check to see whether or not the, uh, the Pyromancer Flame would take off the maggots when they didn't. Would have been rather handy though. There we are. Right. Since that was sorted, he's dropped me a jewel charm. Cool. No real reason to care too much about them though because there's a bonfire right in here. That didn't actually hurt. Interesting that we are immune to that whilst we're opening the door. <laughs> was kind of handy. So we're going to rest this bonfire. And that is basically everything uh, unlocked in this area and almost everything uh, this place has to offer available. So 
let's just explain who this is. I'm not going to talk to her because I don't want it to mess up uh, a quest line. Uh, I don't know how kind of strict it is, but essentially if you join this covenant, uh, then uh, the lady that we saw earlier, Cirrus, uh, her quest line will basically end with you. Um, and she has a pr there's, there's quite a few cool kind of interactions that we can have with her, which is why we're going to keep it as it is. Uh, note that um, this NPC allows you to respec so if you do decide that you want to change some of your stats around, this is where you come to do it. Uh, I think you do it five times per playthrough. Uh, basically give her a pale tongue and uh, you can reallocate all of your stat points. Pretty pretty, pretty useful. Uh, but like I say, be careful about when you decide to do that because it will uh, affect um, that quest line. Uh, next up, oh, we've actually got all these soul arms. We may actually go and try and use those and get uh, Siegvard's armor set whilst we're here actually because I think we've got enough there to buy it straight out. So that should be pretty handy. I don't know if he's already moved to Firelink. I don't think he will have, so let's go get that sorted. We'll kill all these because maybe we'll save us some souls. Basically. These guys don't like fire either. Get them punched up, that'd be handy. I'm not too worried about taking bits of damage. There we go. And then we'll go down this way. This is probably a pretty good way to the boss fight, actually, when I think about it. Means we can go across there and not really have to fight anything between here and the boss fight. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Uh, so we'll talk to you. So we need 10k, don't I? Uh, 15, should I say. Let's just go like this. Mm -mm -mm. Boom. Yeah, we are well in. You selected. Pew. Cool. So, purchase all this for uh, Siegvard. That's going to be handy. Um, yeah, that's really cool. Right. Cool. So, I'll show you where to use that after you've done the boss fight. We're going to go and do that now. Um, just because we're so close to it. I've only taken like one hit, so no real reason not to go ahead with the boss fight. Uh, we should have two NPC summons available for it. I generally find it pretty easy, but um, I know that some people find it quite challenging, so this may be something that you want to pay attention to. We're going to go down this lift. Nice little shortcut here. I guess this is quicker um, rather than easier than the other kind of route you can take uh, from the other bonfire and just coming up through the oil stuff or whatever it is. Um, ideally, you want to try and get up here without taking too much damage. But obviously the guy with the uh, great sword will chase after you. He doesn't normally come this far. Wow! I'm gonna have to fight him, aren't I? Is he gonna come all the way? He is. Ouch! I was blocking. Get out. Right, let's get up here. Let's summon in some help. I mean, to be fair, that shield absolutely shut him down, which is kind of crazy. I don't need help to be really. That's fine. There we go. Let's shoot down. That just makes me pretty happy how easy we want to deal with the, with a shield. Okay. So we're going to bring in Horus. And Henri. This kind of progresses their quest line as well. So make sure you do this. Now I don't know how uh, strict it is about Henri surviving this. But I do often try to make sure she does. Right, there we go. So, this is uh, kind of crazy, really, because we basically got an army. I mean, th three characters is an army in Dark Souls. <laughs> versus an army of NPCs in here, so... Um, kind of cool way to do it. Uh, you need to basically attack the guy that's glowing red. I probably should have upgraded my weapon, actually, when I think about it. Could have had a plus four sword in here, uh, which would have been pretty handy. 
Good luck, Horus. And you don't really need to care about the rest of them, they'll just continually spawn. I don't quite know how that works, but they do. Whoops. for these big fat guys because they uh, tend to have higher amounts of poise. Big boss is coming so let's heal. Um, so at this point you really really need to be taking him down quickly. Down quickly. Uh, really trying to make them not get off their uh, really, really powerful special attack. Um, so when you see them all feeding up this black ball stuff, try and kill some of these guys off. Because uh, it'll disrupt it. If that goes off, you'll know about it because it really, really hurts. Where's the guy gone? Where's he gone? There he is. See, their attacks don't really do very much damage. Uh, very little to care about here. Once he's dead, that's it. It's game over, man. Boom. There we go. Probably enough for, enough for a level there as well. Great. Um, rest of this bonfire. And then, uh, rather than just leaving straight away, as you can see, we've got. Uh, I think it's the Deacon set. Yeah. So we get the dudes closed. I don't think there's anything around the back. I can't remember. I always check though. Yeah, there's nothing on this side. So that's cool. Um, so all that's left for this area is to give uh, Siegvard his armor. And we are about done. Um, we'll have some dialogue for the end. So we'll do uh, the usual uh, template of... I'll just turn the mic off. You guys can listen to the uh, NPC dialogue if you wish to. Siegvard should be out here in the well. There he is. Oh, I should have listened to that, really. Oh, I know that voice. <laughs> Just how long has it been? It's me, Siegvard of Katarina. I'm loath to admit it, but I've been had. Someone's swiped my armor. Did you happen to see it anywhere? <laughs> Throw in the armor. Oh, my armor. My deepest gratitude. I, Siegfried of Katarina, salute you. With my trusty suit of armor, I'll be out of here in a jiffy. <laughs> Until we meet again. Comrade. <laughs> hey. No need to worry about me. With my trusty suit of armor, I'll be out of There we go. Is that so done? <laughs> Crap, what this is? Broken straight sword. Woo! <laughs> With that done, we return to Phylic Shrine. Uh, where are we? And all is well. So I get my one level. I need my level up. Uh, so I want a point in intelligence. Let's do that. We, we're using one pyromancy at the minute, so we don't really need attunement right now. Not until we can start using better better abilities and spells. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll pump intelligence and we'll probably pump some vigor. Health, HP is going to become an issue soon, so um, we need to be dealing with that. But with that done, guys, that is everything for this episode. Uh, just for those that kind of want to see it, we'll upgrade the sword as well. Uh, we're a reinforce weapon. 
trusty sword goes up to plus four. Yep, 208 damage. Far better now. Um, with that, guys, the max going off. Uh, we're going to go right and talk there. to all the NPCs, see if anybody's changed what they want to say. Um, and I'll catch you in the next episode. If you've watched this far, thank you very much uh, for joining me on this journey. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ah, there you are, unkindled one. I am pleased to have a pupil as dedicated as you. <laughs> if you seek pyromancy tomes, take this sage advice. The lands of the Lords converge upon Lufric, the home of pyromancy's drifts comparatively close as well. At least, that is what pyromancers of the Great Swamp believe. The place is called Isonith. Oh, how I wish to behold a primal pyromancy. Well, these are old tales. No one knows where the truth begins or ends. <laughs>
<laughs> Gaining admission to the Legion. Uh, 